All right, so I'm gonna see if I can use my lipo box that I made. I got uh, approximately 40 amp hours worth of lipos all connected up to this 600 watt inverter. I already have my panel main shut off in the off position and I, oh, this entire side is off and I'm actually going to shut everything off and start putting breakers on one at a time so everything is off. So, and I unplugged uh, my freezer as well. So, power on. With every all the breakers off, let's see what works. Because everything on this line of wire should be live and have power. But we're going to go through here now and turn some stuff on. Uh, 12 panel plugs down here. Let's see if that turns some lights on or something. Nope. This is just an experiment to see what I could do in a grid down scenario. Uh, this is not recommended with a, a suicide cord like this. Um, it's dishwasher I don't want on. Plugs. I want plugs on. Uh, kitchen. Turn on. Turn that on. This is the dryer. Don't need that on. 30. Guess we'll turn that 30 on. I'll even turn the washer plugs on. I'm not sure if I can run anything on this side of the leg because I'm only powering one side, but I don't know if I'm powering this side or this side, so I'm still going to go through it. The furnace, don't want that. Uh, nine plugs upstairs. Uh, 27. Oh, that's the downstairs lights here just turned on. Sweet. So let's turn the other one on here. Do you hear that weird sound? This doesn't like multiple loads of CFL bulbs, but it does run it, which is good. I'm pulling 70 watts. Maybe I can angle this so you can see a little bit. There we go. That's what I'm pulling. Making funny sounds. Probably not very good for it, but okay. 21. Microwave plugs. Why not? Uh, fridge plugs. Oh, this is going to reset everything. I'm going to... Yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. And there goes the lights. Okay, so you got to reset it. So, lights are back on, as you can see. Fans are blasting, because it is pulling power now. So... Let's see, 19 fridge, can't run the fridge. So we'll skip that, we'll go to the next one. 17, runs. 15, ran something, but it just ramped up the, now we're pulling a little more power. Pulling 95 watts. The fan really ramped up. Okay, garage plugs. This will be running a trailer Outside, I don't want to turn that on because that's really going to zap some juice. It probably pulls 200 watts continuous. I'll just turn it on for a sec to see if it will run it. And in fact, it does run it. Okay. Um, what else here? 11. Uh, outside plugs. Yeah, whatever. There's nothing on there, anyways. And yeah, that's that. Let's uh, let's go upstairs and see what's uh, what we can run off this thing. So, all the lights downstairs are on. I'm going to leave everything on as I turn things on. Uh, just to show what this uh, little lipo box is capable of. Let's see, do these lights work? No. Oh, yeah, this one does. As you can see, this one does not. Kitchen lights do not work. There on the other side of the breaker. Does not work. Oh, these ones do. That's nice. So I'm going to leave this on the on position. So these lights are both on. So I could have downstairs lights and I could have half my living room lights on. Um, 
Is my laptop charging? My laptop is not charging, so I would have to run an extension cord or something for my computer. Let's see upstairs. Actually, I can even check the bathroom here. Let's see, does anything work in here? No, nope, nothing works in here. Okay. Upstairs we go. I'm just talking quietly because my little girl is sleeping. So this one works, as you can see. Let's see what we can run in here. The fan works, but the light doesn't. Okay. Does this spare bedroom light work? Nope, doesn't work. What about my bedroom light? Also doesn't work. Neither do my plugs. Okay. And I'm pretty sure if I unplug my fridge, if I unplugged it, I could uh, run all the kitchen lights because the fridge is probably on the same breaker as the kitchen lights. And that's my guess anyways. But yeah, so I got uh, lighting here, lighting here, and well, I wonder if the garage will open. I think I turned the garage on, so here we go. I'm going to hit this. There, here we go. Let's see if the lights shut off when I hit this button. Here we go. Maybe it doesn't reach from here. Hold on. I don't think it's going to, it's not reaching. No, it's not reaching or something, or it just doesn't work, one or the other. Maybe I don't have those uh, plugs enabled. That's too bad. So, I can't get into my garage the way it is now, but yeah. I am running quite a few lights. I'll even, I'm going to turn this upstairs one on. See, off, on. So that's all on. So I have uh, three uh, CFL bulbs on the main floor. I have one here. So that's four five, six, seven, and one over here, eight. This is a uh, temporary room. So, got quite a few CFL bulbs on. Sitting at 12 volts, fans are blowing. It says we're taking 140 watts. It says we're at 12.2 volts. Taking 12, 13 amps, sub so nine amps, 10 amps, it's jumping around. But at this rate, I would be able to run this for approximately three and a half, four hours, because this is a 40 amp hour pack, and I have pulled uh, 42 amps out of it. Uh, it still had life. It didn't have life at high loads. It could run this load, but it wouldn't be able to run like uh, 600 watts, obviously, because the, the, the drop in voltage goes below the 10.5 volts of the inverter. But uh, just to show that this is powering everything, and there's nobody by the switches or anything like that. I'm just gonna hit the off button. Everything's off. Even uh, even my baby monitor right here is working. Uh, when I turn this on, watch. Let's see here. Hold on a second. I gotta. Turn some lights off. It didn't. The inverter's not starting up properly with all these CFL bulbs. All right, let's try this now. Unplugged it. Come on. Oh, I hope that didn't wake my little one up. Apparently, uh, my fire alarms work off of it too. But, uh, where's this show signal? Anyways, it's working. And that's upstairs in uh, the baby's room, so that means the baby's room does, in fact, have power, which is nice. Nothing gets hot. This pack is probably the best booster pack I've ever had, used, or even seen online. Um, that you can buy from a store anyways. I'm sure people have made better. Um, 
but this can run the full 600 watts output power for quite a quite a bit of time. Uh, you can cook. I've cooked or I've made coffee off this off of those little a uh, mini coffee maker. It only makes like three or four cups or something like that. And uh, I made coffee off this. Uh, did a few things like that, and it worked quite well. Uh, very happy with it. And yeah, so any booster pack with an inverter built in, you could do this with. Um, obviously, you don't want to overload the inverter. Uh, yeah, just the biggest thing, you have to be very, very careful. Keep this off. Do not turn this on while this is this is all happening. I like to put uh, uh, a strip of duct tape across. I'm the only one home right now, but I put a strip of duct, duct tape across and I write on it. Uh, say uh, on backup power or uh, on solar power or anything whatever you're doing always cover this you can see all the duct tape that I've had because I've done it a couple times mostly just experimenting on a video like this um, uh, I'm go going to be getting a, a generator panel uh, very soon just because it's way safer than this way safer uh, it takes out any human error where you're going to either blow up your inverter or uh, you could zap yourself by pulling that out first, touching the two leads, it's live. Uh, so you got to be careful with that. And for, say for some reason this is powerful enough to back feed into the grid in a grid down scenario and you had the main breaker on, uh, this is going to be, uh, this will make the outside lines uh, live uh, saying that this has enough power to run your neighbor's houses and whatnot first and then making the, the lines live I think you'd be more like a 10 kilowatt generator or something like that but uh, anyways you still have to be careful of that just in case something like that could ever happen uh, but yeah in a backup scenario like this this would be quite handy Thanks for watching guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed this and uh, subscribe if you like to see some more videos. I have uh, quite a few videos.